Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. In this session, we are going to see file actions. As part of file actions, we are going to see load. So load loads a file content to a variable. So we have seen a couple of examples in the past related to file, which is dump and uh, write. So they both create file or they can write a text to a file. They can write variable content to a file. Load does reverse of it. It takes the content of the file and loads into the variable. So that's what it does. It's pretty straightforward. Take the content of the file, whichever file. So you provide the file name and it, you provide the variable name which in which the variable needs to be loaded. For example, report.txt to report. So let's see an example demo in detail. So welcome back to the example demo. So let's launch our favorite Notepad++. Save this file. Let's go to our location where we have been saving it. I'm going to save it in file action and we're going to say load. And we're going to save this file as load example dot tag and hit enter. So say tag UI file actions and method load. So syntax is load statement and file name to variable. That's it. Let's see an example. So let's say we have variable get file content. This is my variable and let's blank it. Oh, I have to equal to set it to blank echo same thing equal to content so that we know what it is blank to start with. So let's say load load a file. So let's create a file. Let's go to our location where we have stored so let's go here and let's create a file. Let's create a file which is a text file in this case. And let's name it as load text example and hit enter. Right click on this and say open notepad. So in this one, let's just let's go to our past examples which we have been using it. Let's launch our bankrate.com or let's say Investopedia. And uh, let's go to education and same thing. ETFs and in ETFs, let's just copy this content which is here and let's go back here and paste it and say save. So we are going to check whether we can able to see um, ETF, we are, we are able to see commodity and we are going to see if we have uh, stock uh, in this file, right? So we're going to read this file and see this content are available in the so we save this file so you can see this file is being saved here now it was zero when i refresh it it will have one so maybe there's some content loaded so let's go back and to our code so say load and file name is load text example dot text to variable which is our variable so it's going to load it so now it's loaded we can echo now and uh, say paste say write a comment here specifying before loading and you can say here after loading and let's come back and let's do some sort of validation check if file or file contain ETF mutual funds commodity stock is it stock or something else stock yeah stock. so these are the four keywords if it is available or not to check anything we can do uh, vari variable contain uh, i guess it contains and you can specify a single quote you can say etf and you can specify all these things four times let's copy this and say paste and we can say mutual funds and oh sorry copy and we can just say commodity and last but not least stock copy and paste so now we have a condition now is you give an addition echo and check and i can say access file contains or our file name what is the file name load our text example dot text contains contains uh, following else uh, go back and copy paste failed 
let's say does not contain this and let's save it as in the past so what load does is load takes the content of the file and copy the content of the file into the variable the variable which we have declared which is over here and once we have the value in the variable which we are going to use our if condition and we are going to check it in this condition that these text these text which you see here 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 and here are visible visible in the file so if it is true then we are going to say true else success otherwise we will say failed and so let's save this and let's run it again so let's launch our command prompt so let's go to the command prompt and say cmd and uh, navigate to the location where you have your load file example is created so in this case i have created here so let's say tag ui load example and say minus h because we will not be having any ui here we'll be loading all the things without a ui or without a web browser so minus h is the hidden mode uh, switch so you add minus h so it won't launch our browser so let's say enter and see what happens so it started and if you can see all the content of the file which we have stored uh, it's been we did not had any we didn't had any content which is blank here after loading the file is being loaded here this if we can see here the file is being loaded so this is the load step so after the file is being loaded you can see all the content which is there in the file over here and uh, over here and the last statement which is basically a validation of all the values so this concludes uh, load example thank you for watching see you another one